Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Uh, I thought this video we'd continue with the curves uh, ribbon, and today we'll focus on the circle. There will be some very interesting things in the beginning, I think, that you'll find interesting. And then at the end, we'll do something that I was taught when I first started learning Matrix. Uh, it's pretty f fun to do, I guess. Uh, so let's get going on it. So let's uh, first just take a circle and as you can uh, we'll change to yellow here And if you just uh, you know, it, it starts from the center You can drag it out right and just click right now if you saw on that one I didn't hold down shift to lock it down, right? Uh, so let's do it one more time I'm gonna right click bring back the command uh, this time I'm going to click and then hold down shift and that way I can lock it in my uh, Areas right and I'm just gonna click here uh, now now, uh, something you should be aware of right away, especially if you're going to try and manipulate this, uh, is if I turn on points, you'll notice that the one that I did not hold down shift with, it must have came up through here, uh, it's not uh, very straight, right? Uh, so that's the first thing you should probably be aware of. So if you're wanting the, to edit this curve in any way later, uh, you'll, you'll want to make sure your points are in the right direction that uh, you're wanting them in as you draw it out uh, so that's uh, kind of the first one just be aware that if you don't hold down shift your points will be uh, all lined up uh, pretty differently right uh, so let's go ahead and take both those here and then get rid of them now I'll go ahead and uh, click on curve again and then uh, of course in our uh, command line we have lots of options right I'm gonna draw another circle out here just uh, this time I'll hold down shift right and I'll right click and then this time I'll hit a deformable uh, and this time I can change the degree and change the point count so I'll change it to a five just so you can kind of see the difference uh, did I hit three three won't give you any two won't give you any. Uh, four I don't even think will will give you any uh, you'll need at least five points so uh, we'll put five and hit enter now i can uh, draw a circle uh, and if i hold down shift <clears throat> you know right away now there's some interesting things in here now if we turn on our points i i had them both uh i held down shift on both of them right so you can tell that this one's points are a little bit different you could always go in there and uh kind of spin it around to wherever you want the points to uh just keep that in mind uh but usually you'll want to hold down shift and draw that now uh, this one I just drew it out, and this one I used to deform, right? So if I take that point, and I want to manipulate it, and I drag it out, right? Now I have a kink there. Anywhere I manipulate, uh, I'll have a kink somewhere. So I have uh, two kinks right there, uh, right? But with actually doing the deform, uh, you can draw it out, and it will not show you any kinks. You won't get any kinks in it, right? Because you change the degree. So it... Uh, uh, that's a very very useful one uh, when you're drawing out and you you know that you might want to manipulate those uh, that circle at a later date. So uh, you could always hit deform it, uh, rebuild and stuff, but uh, this is just a real quick way, you know, uh, knowing what you're going to do, uh, kind of planning out your design before you do it. All right, uh, so let's go back to circle. And of course we have ver vertical. Uh, vertical is viewer uh, active, right? So if I click here and I draw it out, it's going to show, it's the top of the circle is coming right at me, so I can't see it, right? And if I move it to the top, it's the same thing. And if I move it to the side, you can kind of see. And of course, your perspective viewport is always going to be your top viewport. So it's going to place it like in the top view there, right? Coming right at me. Uh, so whatever you do in the perspective will be... Uh, through your top viewport but uh, you can see the differences here if i hold it here it's coming right at me but uh in the right side and then of course the front and the back right so that's kind of this is uh these are probably most of those are in all the command lines the vertical and everything let's go back grab another circle uh two points uh two points is good for uh when you have certain 
uh, lines out here and you want to get between two points. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and you can also select most of these commands from here, uh, two points. And then you can, with your snaps on, you can lock into a certain areas and then be able to snap them. Of course, it will not be tangent, uh, but uh, you can get the circle between uh, two uh, separate points. Uh, pretty uh, useful especially if you you have uh, points out there right uh, for some reason uh, we'll just go ahead and click uh, points here and we'll put one here one here and then we'll go to our circle uh, and go to two points and then you can snap to that point and snap to that one and it'll lock it right in right uh, pretty pretty easy there uh, okay so let's go back to our circle again uh, three points, same thing. Uh, just uh, if you have those lines out here, one, two. Well, we'll just keep keep those, and we'll just go use our ribbon command here, drop down, and we'll go from that end to this end, and then you can change change it to another point in space or you can lock it to a, a, a curve or whatever you're wanting right and again it will not be uh tangent of course so keep that in mind uh, but it'll give you that curve right uh and let's see let's go to our curve what's after tangent around a curve that one's an easy one i think everybody pretty much is aware of that one i'll just go over here and draw the line and uh Click on my circle, uh, go to uh, around a curve. Oh, I forgot tangent. We'll come back to that. Select my curve, and then I can draw it out there, right? Now, there is something uh, that's kind of interesting. If you go to your curve, you can hit deform. You can change your points, right? Uh, and then you can hit around curve, right? So if I uh, right-click, bring back, back, hit deform, uh, change my point count to, let's say, a 6, uh, and then hit uh enter and then go to a round curve and then select my curve and then draw my curve out here if i go to change uh, turn on points and then i go to manipulate it it's going to keep me in that degree three it's not it that way it's uh you know you're it's not going to create a kink in it right and you can create whatever form you want out there right that's uh you know pretty cool uh, pretty useful at times and we'll select all that and get rid of it uh and let's see what else we got here oh tangent so let's go to uh get a line here uh we'll draw a line here and we'll draw a line over here and we want to go to a circle and we'll just do tangent and this time uh clicking the points clicking the point and then you can still manipulate the design for tangency right uh it'll keep maintain tangency on that curve uh, so what I guess I mean is if so you could put it down here at the bottom, which will create tangent tangency, uh, <laughs> uh, or you could do it anywhere on the line. So let's just say uh, right here, right? So now it's tangent between those two points, right? But you'll have to uh, take these two curves and you'll have to uh, split with your circle, right? And then hit enter and then you can get rid of this and get rid of that and it will have tangency uh and if you get rid of this a uh, split with these two curves and then hit enter and then you can get rid of that and you can check your tangent tangency to make sure it's tangent by typing in g c o n g con and hit enter and i'll ask you to select your first curve that'll be toward the end uh this one here and then select your second one and hit here and see it curves our g1 which is tangency g1 is tangency so you can check your other side there uh and of course again a g1 tangency uh, and then you can just join those together uh join together and now you have a curve that's tangent and if you turn on your points you can start to uh, manipulate it Whatever. But you have a kink there, of course, because we didn't use uh, deformable, right? Uh, so 
be cautious of that if you're going to manipulate curves like that. Uh, it's much better to just go ahead and put the uh, degree two, degree three on there and not have to worry about those kinks and rebuild it. All right, uh, I think that's all. We did all circle, two points, three points, tangent around curve. Oh, fit points. Okay, this one's good uh, for a lot of different things, I guess. But let's just go ahead and throw a, a gemstone out here real quick and we'll kind of make it fairly large and hit enter. We'll put a head on there real quick. I'm not going to manipulate this uh, whole lot we'll go to our level three here we'll drag uh not that i want this one we'll drag that up i uh, will go back to our level one and uh, drag that down some like something like that and we'll hit enter and we'll give it some shading uh now this can be useful uh you can go to your curves uh you can uh let's see points point cloud point object right there we'll go to multiple and we'll just go out here and you can if your snaps are on you can lock it to your quad there you can lock it to your quad here then you can do a point uh, two points right uh, or you can go over here and add a third one you need at least three to do this right and uh, if you take that curve uh, take that dot a point and then uh, mirror it f4 Oop. mirror it f4 hold down shift drag it around and we'll just snap it over there on the other side so we have that now uh, if you go to your circle and you go to fit points and you just select those points and then hit enter it'll draw you a circle taking the um, average of those circle in order to get that circle to take the average right uh, if you have uh, it will not do it you have to have at least uh, let's go ahead and click here let's go to points one two uh, if you try it with two it will not work uh, fit points these uh, it will not work. You need at least three points. Uh, so let's grab another point here real quick. And if you put three points out there uh, and go to your uh, do it with the fit points uh, and select your points uh, and hit enter, it will touch all three of those points, right? However those points are out, it'll draw a circle around these three points, right? But if you have more than three, uh, so we'll go one two three four five we'll put well let's we'll just move this one over or something if you have more than uh three uh and you you do the circle command with fit points it'll just take the averages of those points and then draw the circle uh for the average uh around those points okay all right, uh, so that pretty much concludes the uh, curves or circle curve uh, ribbon uh, command. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little something that, like I said, I first uh, learned uh, way, way back in the day. Uh, and it's it's pretty cool. So the first thing we'll do is, of course, mostly it will be based on circle. We'll go and we'll start from F4. And we'll just uh, hold down shift, of course. I'm not going to worry about uh, deformed or anything at this point right now. We're just going to make a little something real quick. And then I'm going to go to a line and from that quad down to this quad. And I'm going to take that line and go to my points there. And right down here, it says divide by number of segments. I'm going to enter down here, number of segments. I want four segments. And then I'm going to hit enter and then it will divide that into four and then I'll go back to my circle and I'll snap to that middle one and then make one right there and then I'll just take that one mirror it around from this point here holding down shift so that I have those two right okay and then from here what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and select everything and we'll do a little uh, trim action uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this center line here. And then we'll get rid of this one over here. And we'll get rid of this one over here. And I think you can already see what we're going with here. And then we'll hit enter, right? Uh, so we have those, right? And now I'll go back to that circle. And I will snap to that one and just make it a little bit there. Uh, and then I'll take that and uh, type in M-O-V-E, move uh, from that point there to this point here so i know it's oh, oh okay 
uh let's see let's go duplicate from this point to that point right so i have those right now at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to first get rid of those points so without selecting those curves there uh, and then I'm just going to hit delete because we don't need those. Uh, I'm going to select all of it. I am going to uh, duplicate in place and then hit enter. All right. Point to copy. From, I want to. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, everything's duped. All right. Now I'm going to take this curve here and select one of these curves here. And I'm going to uh, join that together. And I'm going to change that one to blue. And I'm going to take this other one. There should be two there. That curve there. Hold down shift. This yellow one here. And join those together. And I'm going to turn that to red. So I have one blue and one red right uh, and then I'm going to take this outside curve one of them well I could take both of them let's just take both of them and we'll split with this red curve here and hit enter okay so we have this curve here we'll take the red one here and we will join those together and then I'll take this one here and the blue one and we will join those together, right? So now we have this blue one over here and we have this one over here. So we can get rid of everything else. So let's turn off a red and blue and keep these two. Let's just get rid of this and this and then bring those back. Okay, so we have the red one and we have the blue one, right? Now what we want to do, since we have our yin and yang going on, is we want to take uh, whichever one, doesn't matter, uh, red, and we'll go to uh, offset curve, offset curve, and we're gonna take it to the inside, and we'll take this to a point uh, to five and hit enter, and we'll just bring it on the inside here, something like that, right? And then we'll just take this, uh, blue one here and we'll right click bring that back and we'll offset that one to the other side now this one here this one here get rid of and this one here get rid of right so we have our yin and yang right now the only thing you need to do from this point is you can go ahead and first you can grab it all if you want to uh, and then we can go to uh, solids and we'll go to uh, extrude, uh, planar straight, one direction, not both directions, no. And we'll just kind of bring it up, something like, we'll make it a little thick here, something like that. And then I'll go and I'll, I'll grab me another circle. And I'll start from F4, uh, holding down shift. And I'll just make a, me a little ledge here, something like this. And what I'll do here is I'll take this one and uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll extrude. And this time I'll take it down a little bit. There. And we'll take this one. We'll turn it to green. We'll take this one and this one over here. And we'll just kind of drop it down in wherever we want it. Let's turn on wireframe so we can kind of see how much room we have and then we'll hit enter and then all you have to do now is do a little uh boolean right boolean difference so abort command we'll take uh, this green surface here enter take this and this and hit enter and enter to get rid of that get rid of that and we need to get rid of that and we have our little and we'll get take this turn it to gray turn it off and we have a little yin and yang right uh now you can uh put uh you know crushed uh you know or you could antique it you know black uh black uh, enamel white enamel or you know red black whatever you want uh there's so much more you could add another you could go ahead and extract uh, an iso curve from here 
right around in there grab that iso curve go to your tools uh grab a profile we'll go to something a little different here i think i have some crazy stuff in here so let's find one uh, let's go down here somewhere i think it's down here at the bottom a long time ago well we'll just do uh we'll just do this thing here click on that and we have that and you'll want to uh, drag it hold down shift and drag it around and then you can uh, hold that down drag it to wherever you want it and we'll make it thinner of course we don't need it so we don't need that height we'll drag it a little bit more something like that perhaps and and maybe a little bit more there and we'll go ahead and activate that so we can kind of see what's going on with it and we'll just bump it in some something like that now we can really play around with it and get exactly where we want it go something like that if you're going to do crush you don't want it higher you want it a little lower of course you don't want to drop it down something like this because you're going to have to file all that off uh, to get it flat right uh, and then we'll just hit enter then you can go back and extract another iso curve uh, from in here right there and we'll just drag it right in there and then we'll take that curve and we'll go to uh to solids and we'll just do a rope around that and threads we got three a uh, turn distance let's tighten that up a little and let's make those threads larger something like that and we'll hit enter and then just put a bell on it now in order to get this top so that you can render it whatever however you want uh you'll need to uh, duplicate the edges right so duplicate that edge this edge this edge duplicate this one this one and hit enter and then uh, join those together join those together yes and then go to your surface do planar curves and then hit uh well we don't need to hit enter and then you'll need to take those two surfaces you'll need to split them well before you do that let's hide that uh this and this let's go ahead and hide it real quick let's this and okay this and this will hide and what we need to do is a little bit more dupe right there and right there hit enter and now we can bring back those surfaces and we can select those surfaces and we can split with that circle there and this circle here hit enter and then just grab that surface there get rid of it grab that surface there get rid of it now we have a, a top to be able to uh, put some rendering material on right so if you go to your rendering open up your render and I'll grab all those yellow curves and we'll just turn them to gray because we don't need any of that uh, you can uh, come over here metals we'll, we'll close that one down we have some onyx I think or something like that uh, black diamond garnet black CZ there's onyx so we'll just take that with this surface here and we will apply this one and then with this surface here we'll go down and we'll just grab a uh, a pearl white and then select on that so let's turn on our ray traced and let's go in here and turn on matrix gold classic and then i'm going to grab my properties for rhino and i'm going to go ahead and activate my navita so it's a lot quicker and then I'll just give it, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and select all our yellow, or green rather, and then we'll come all the way down here. We will, uh, we'll go ahead and put this on yellow so it stand out, right? And then we get a bale on there, and you're good to go.
something like that. So you have a you know a white antiquing or enamel in there, a black black enamel, white enamel around it, and then just put a bell on it. You've got a nice cool pendant. You can go back in there and round off some edges and stuff if you wanted to. Uh, but there's a real quick way to make a yin and yang a pendant there for you. So uh, hopefully this helped uh, with the circles, and there's just a lot in there. So. Uh, kind of a lot of those commands are the same but hope you liked the vi video and if you did please uh sh share leave a comment and uh please subscribe thanks very much for watching good designing